I haven't done one in a while. This is a great Bible, more from the Premier Collection. Uh, Thompson Chain Reference Bible here. This is um, another reason Zondervan does such a great job with these. Um, this is a NIV with the Thompson Chain, so it's a pretty thick boy. It's about a two inch, um, but uh, it's actually not a super large Bible. It's I, I have the tape measure to prove it. I would consider it large, but not extra large. It's one that you could cuddle up with and read just fine. Very flexible because it uses that um, amazing Smythe sewing that uh, the Premier Collection is known for. Reminds me of my NIV Heritage, actually, and uh, compares size-wise to the uh, KJV store, uh, King James version. But we'll, uh, we'll compare to another uh, Zondervan here in a second with amazing Gofford edges. But uh, this one is uh, a little bigger than hand size. It's actually about 10 inches long and about seven and a quarter inches wide. Where, um, whereas this one over here you can see is a, a little thinner Bible. It's an inch and a half and uh, it actually is 10 inches long as well. But as far as wide, uh, it's more like eight. Uh, so it's a little, um, a little bit bigger of a footprint. But you can see has really nice spine hubs, one, two, three, four, five of them. And just look at how this Bible is flexible already from the start. It really reminds me of that NIV heritage that's really probably my favorite go-to Bible. I, I mean, it's hard to say it outranks the Allen Long Primer, but it's the one I ended up preaching out of the most. And, and you know, NIV is just such a great version. Look at that. Look at the... Uh, Amazing 36 GSM paper, and yeah, that's, you know, in the Proverbs, you can see how the Thompson chain references are to the side. There's nothing in the middle getting in the way or too much overstuffed on the bottom or anything, and uh, I like that they, look at that. You are righteous, Lord, and your laws are right. The statutes you have laid down are righteous. They are fully trustworthy. Um, just, uh, really nice paper, 36 GSM, and, uh, but we'll get to all this in a, in a little bit. Um, you can see it's edge lined and it's goat skin. It's very, uh, soft, supple, very flexible. Um, and look at that blue under silver gilding. I mean, it's like a mirror, just beautiful. You can see the signature packets from the Smith sewing and, uh, Nice presentation page, has some dedicatory pages and stuff about the NIV translation, but you can see we're here in Genesis and it's already laying flat. Um, pretty nice, love these ribbons. They are uh, single-sided satin, looks like, and uh, different shades of blue. Get a royal blue and a sky blue and one that's a little more navy-ish, but very classy. Looking, 9.5 font, and you might want to take a picture. I love the way they present this Bible. I mean, Alan doesn't even present it with that amazing cross and sticker. So we got um, 100,000 references with the Thompson Chain reference. Um, I want to say this is on sale on Amazon for about 130. Great price for a premium. 16-page full-color map section. Uh, black letter edition. Another nice thing about having a Thompson chain reference is you could be way over here in Jude or Revelation and you're not, you got, you got more pages left. It's a balanced Bible. It's not wanting to slam shut or anything. Here we are deep into the uh, numerical index and it's still laying flat. So this is Smithson into the tail bands you can see here. So if you, sometimes you can see the overstitching um, if you look deep down into the gutter, they're uh, sewing, Smythe sewing, into the um, bindery here and, and into the tail bands and uh, headbands, which are, uh, looks like a black. And uh, again, that just causes you to have a really flexible Bible, which is probably the first thing I look at. Like, look at that thing. That's floppy and yet strong and incredible silver gilt line. I mean, look at the goat skin you get on this Bible. Really cool. 
pebbly. Nice little yap on it. Makes a bit of a C shape. A um, little bit of a dent there out of the little imperfection. That's okay. I like how it gives us some extra leather there. That's going to hug over the book block really nicely. And you've got perimeter stitching. And uh, just a really nice Bible. I mean, look at the 9.5 font. So it's not verse by verse. It's a double column. And you can see the, uh, sorry for the shadows here, I'm filming at night, but the um, nice red to match some of the numbers on the Thompson chain reference and the headings at the top. So again, what I love is looking at the Psalms. Oh, wow. I love Psalm 25. Ghosting is minimal, especially in person. In you, Lord, my God, I put my trust. Isn't it all about that? I trust in you. Do not let me be put to shame. It's all about trusting him. The more you trust God, the more you're going to love him, right? The more you're going to obey him. And we're in a culture that wants to make fun of that and mock that while they praise sins. But um, besides that, the culture is doing great. Just a dumpster fire going over a cliff. and We need some more Isaiahs and John the Baptists out there. But you can see um, the Thompson chain is extensive. The index, you can look up any topic, you know, like works, good works. Um, they give some examples in Second Chronicles all the way through Revelation. And uh, they keep going. I mean, a lot of cool topics. Uh, the maps look like uh, that particular map is black and white, but I want to say there's... They have full color one because that would be part of the uh, concordance. But if you go back far enough, yeah, you get the um, the color maps. And, you know, you're not going to take any copious notes here, but they have a couple of notes pages. Oh, they put in more. Well, that's cool. That's that's an improvement because um, mine on the NIV Heritage, um, which I lost in the storm. So I requested it for Christmas and uh my parents got it. It just gave up one front and back. So here you get one, two. Hard to do this one-handed. These are thin guys. Three, four, five. Looks like that's six. And seven front and back. And then it gets into the card stock, which feels pretty uh, glossy. 13 maps. And the ISBN number. Oh, that's cool there. Look at that. Let me get down here with you. That's a blemish on the goat. See, the goat had a little marking there, a little scar. That's cool, man. Never look down on that. Every piece of leather is a little bit different, right? Every goat, every lamb, everything's a little bit different. So that's really cool to see a pronounced one like that. You, you normally don't. Like, this is lambskin. It's a little bigger. It's a KJV uh, large print uh, from the KJV store. And uh, you, you can see it's like very smooth, but you don't really see the scars. So you don't get quite that character. Um, but you still get a very flexible. I mean, it's a great Bible, but uh, you can see it's, um, it's just different, you know. And uh, just to compare the... If we get down on the level with them, it's definitely a chunkier boy over to the right with the Thompson chain. Um, but it's good to have an NIV and a KJV. I just love how the modern day language of the NIV and uh, just so easy to read. Um, another reason Zondervan's good. This is uh, an NIV. And it comes with Gofford edges, which... Uh, I never used to see that, and now Bibles are, are coming out with them, you know, because it's just so pretty. I mean, look at that design, and it matches um, this design. And, of course, they have the stitching. I'm um, not seeing tooling, but I'm seeing, you know, just more great work. It's a goat skin from, uh, and this is like a smoother goat skin. It's almost like um, just less pebbly. Um, than this. This one feels more um, just pebbly. It just depends what you want. 
Uh, this is definitely smoother. The, there's no like real blemishes to see. It almost reminds me of iron calf skin in a little bit of a way, but um, I want to say the font's a little bigger. It looks like 10 or 11 here and really cool ribbons. You don't see green very often. So I like the forest green and let's go to the Psalms. Yeah. Double column. They keep the green theme going. And um, again, this would be more of a hand size, so definitely smaller. You know, it's, it's you can see it's uh, just a smaller six by nine ish, whereas this is more of a 10 by seven and a quarter across. Uh, and again, two inches thick, amazing ribbons, but uh, yeah, nice little signatures that lines up for you from the Smithsonian or Smithsonian if you want to be fancy with it. And just to show how much of a fan I am of uh, Zondervan's stuff, I had an 84 one that I lost in the storm that was a Thompson chain. And, um, but this is one that I got back in 2013. And yeah, I like that it has the Florida Lee design. It's just uh, paste down inside, but um, they give premium leather. It feels spongy, almost like lambskin, but it's, uh, it's an NIV Zondervan. And uh, the font size is a little on the small side. It's kind of like a 7.5, maybe 7. Uh, so if you're older, you'll need reading glasses for this, but, um, I find it fine. My, uh, up close vision is good. I, uh, like the, um, kind of salmon under gold and I've had, I bought this in 2013. So I've had it. This is the 10 year test run. I don't really like writing in my Bibles. I feel like, um, as the spirit leads me, he makes me think of something different every time. So if I kept writing a new thought every time, it would just be a mess. It'd just be full. But this is a good one. If you're into writing, they give you a lot of margin to do it because uh, it is a single column, especially on the poetry and prophecies. You run out of room when you get more to the Gospels and the letters. But if you're into writing in your Bible, I would recommend a journal along with your Bible. Just get a leather one from Barnes & Noble or Amazon, and that way you don't have to mark up Word of God so much. That's just my opinion. But anyways, um, nice little, uh, it's more like a nine and a half by seven or six and a half. Anyways, um, very uh, similar to the to the hand size here, but a little, a little bit bigger. You can see it's um, the same height, but it's a little um, longer across. And as far as uh, the thickness, uh, very similar to the Gofford Zondervan, but the, the main boy, uh, is, is again, this one, and you can get it at Amazon for about 130, because I think it MSRP's around like 170 or something, I mean, it, it was up there, so you can, you can get some deals, and I don't think they just throw those numbers around, I got my NIV Heritage for 90, and it MSRP'd around 150, and it feels like a $200 Bible, this feels like a $200 Bible, I, I would, I mean, it's just gorgeous, guys. I would I would go for it. Um, if you are interested in the KJV store one, again, it's just a little longer across than this one. It's a 10 by 8. Uh, and I like that it's thinner, though. I just can curl up with this and look how it just wants to lay flat. And Even if you're way over here in Genesis, it, it still wants to lay pretty flat. And, and you can break it in more as you go, but... It's a Schofield study Bible, so you get all these notes from the early, original 1917 and the dispensational notes. And uh, it is, I want to say it's a red letter, which I like. Yep. And look at the font size around 9.5. And uh, just really nice. Again, it wants to stay open even in the concordance. So, uh, you get a pretty extensive concordance. The edge lining is great. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God and house made with hands eternal in the heavens. I mean, just King James is such an elevated, beautiful version. And, uh, I'm trying to think, yeah, look how good the Psalms look. 
Let me get a more of a full view. Get back on my feet again. I've been down on my knees uh, in deep prayer and meditation. Whenever my brother would fall asleep at church, <laughs> my, my dad would say, he's in deep prayer and meditation. And he did that when he was like 10, by the way. We, we would have woke him up otherwise. But um, yeah, just a, another beautiful Bible. And it's really, it's not too big. You think, oh man, 10 by 10 inches by 8 inches, like that's... I snuggle up with this all the time, uh, and I've seen like um, the preacher's daughter. She has a giant Bible, and, and you know she's tiny. So there's nothing wrong with getting a big Bible. You don't have to worry about lugging it to church or only confining it to a desk. They they're great. Snuggle up on the couch and read Bibles. So, um, anyways, I really recommend this one. It's a beauty. Uh, again, it's the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. NIV from Zondervan from the Premier Collection. Just um, flexible, just a gorgeous Bible.